What's good, everybody? It's me, Corbin, back again with another podcast. Uh, it's been a while since I did a uh, one-on-one pod, no, one-on-one, just a one-person podcast by myself. So it's back, hopefully for a long. Uh, I've been way, not way, but I've been busy these past few weeks with work and all these events and stuff. So I didn't have much time to record one, but that's just an excuse. So I'll try to be on the grind with these podcasts back for the people who do listen to them. So thank you. Um, I'm recording this intro after the actual podcast because I recorded it and I don't feel I didn't feel like the uh, intro was good. So sorry about that. Um, but just letting you know, I have a few future planned videos slash podcasts in the future. I plan on doing a greatest athletes ever ranking list, top five or top 10. I still have to decide on that. So that should be coming up pretty soon. Uh, for the next podcast is if I don't have a guest on it or whatever, uh, it will be a like theories about deaths podcasts so it's like a deep talk so that'll be very very interesting be sure be sure to tune into that one and i don't know if i'm gonna do this one for the final one is i have in mind the final one i have in mind is a story time podcast where i just tell stories some crazy stories that i have experienced so i don't know if i'm gonna do that one but Yeah, that about does it for this intro. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and let's get it rolling. Let's get right into the meat of this podcast, uh, which is an NBA, I guess, postseason recap, I guess. Why not? Not postseason. Offseason. Offseason recap. So let's uh, get straight right into it. First thing we have is the Jazz. The Jazz picked up Mike Conley in a trade. They didn't really give up a two lot for this trade. Uh, they lost Rubio to get Mike Conley, which is a upgrade because Mike Conley is a borderline all-star type of player. And Ricky Rubio is just an average point guard, I guess. Mike Conley will add, I guess, a second scoring to the Jazz right behind Donovan Mitchell. Uh... You can play make for Donald Mitchell, so Donovan Mitchell doesn't really have to play make as much as he did. And they also picked up Bogdanovich, who also is a scorer, a wing scorer to help with uh, Conley and uh, Dimitch. So this team is, I guess, very deep. They have a well balanced team, well balanced offensively, well balanced defensively. They can shoot the ball as well. They have good. They have good enough playmakers. So this team is pretty well balanced. They have a great coach. They got the best rim protector in the league. So this team is very good. Western Conference Finals appearance? Question mark. Uh, I don't know. But moving on to the Brooklyn Nets. The Nets picked up three big names in this year's offseason: Kevin Durant, Kyrie, and DeAndre Jordan. Kevin Durant won't be able to play for, I guess, this whole year because of an Achilles injury. So let's, we have to see that duo, that true team, uh, a year from here, I guess. Does that make sense? But not we can't see it this year. Kyrie, he has a chance to uh, a fresh start. He has a fresh start with a new team, new city. Uh He's replacing D'Angelo Russell, who had a great season in Brooklyn, but I think Kyrie will live up to it, live up to him, and do even more for the Nets. Uh, DeAndre Jordan, does he start right away with Jared Allen at center? Uh, I don't know. I personally think DeAndre Jordan's better right now. He was, a, he was just an all-star a few years ago, so he has the talent. But Jaron Allen is up and coming. He could improve as well. So who gets the starting spot? I don't know. I I don't know. Maybe play both at once. You see how that works. They still got Karis LeVert, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they still have Dinwiddie. So they have good scoring at the guard position. They have good big men. 
Their wins are kind of lacking right now. I can't think of any wins right now for them. They have Torian Prince, who's a win, but he's not like a notable win, I guess. That'll do much damage. So the Nets, they, they, they'll be pretty good. They'll be better than last year, which is good. And once KD comes back, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Moving on to the Lakers. The Lakers uh, got two big names this free agency, Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins. Anthony Davis, they traded basically their whole team for, but I think it's a good trade if they want to win now. Uh, Anthony Davis is top, easily top, I guess, seven NBA player right now. Uh, him and LeBron, that, that's a great duo. They also picked up DeMarcus Cousins. If DeMarcus Cousins can uh, travel to his former self, if that even makes sense, I don't know. But if he can uh, travel to his former self, the Lakers are going to be pretty damn good. And people forget LeBron is on this team still. Like, LeBron is still LeBron. He averaged 27-7-7 on an off year. Like, that is just crazy. So, Lakers, they're going to be a great team. Top three team in the league, question mark. I think they I think they have a realistic chance for a, a ring. Moving on to the other LA team, the Clippers. Clippers also got two big free agent signings in Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Kawhi Leonard finally joins in uh, his team, the Clippers. He also got Paul George to come with him via trade. Paul George, MVP candidate, most, not most improved. I guess he is a most improved candidate. He proved considerably this year, but wasn't a candidate for it. Also a defensive player of the year candidate. Coming off a career year in OKC. So that, that's a very good defensive duo. They also have Pat Bev running the point, who's one of the best defending point guards in the league. They got Montrezl Harrow in the paint. They got Lou Will off the bench. So they're going to be pretty good. Moving on to another uh, Cal Cali team, the Warriors. Warriors lost Kevin Durant, but that really doesn't mean anything because he'd be injured anyway. Picked up D'Angelo Russell, though who will add to that all-star duo with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson won't be returning to the playoffs, so it'll be D'Lo and Curry for pretty much the whole year. So I wonder if that, that's a very interesting duo to watch out for. They still have Draymond Green, but their bench and depth is not looking really good at all. It's They have like they have like three good players, four good players healthy right now. So... I know that's a team to watch to see if they to see if a little bit up. I also have a bold prediction to make Steph Curry will win MVP this season. That is my bold prediction. He was going to average 34 points per game and win an MVP, his third MVP. Uh, moving on to another team that got a big name this uh, offseason, the Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets traded... All-star Chris Paul. Was he an all-star this year? I don't think he was, but traded away all-star caliber point guard Chris Paul for superstar Russell Westbrook with a few picks. So this Rockets team, I think, got way better with the addition of Russell Westbrook. Him and Harden reunite in Houston. Uh, they still got basically their whole team with P.J. Tucker, Gerald Green, Austin Rivers, Clint Capella back. So this team will be better than last season. Ah, uh, people, people on Twitter saying it's not gonna work. I think it's gonna work wonderful. They top three. There's a. There's. This is gonna be a very fun NBA season with all these teams getting getting better. So it's gonna be really fun to watch. But I think that's probably one of the best duos in the league: Russell Westbrook and James Harden. Two of the last three MVPs joining. That's gonna. That's a scary sight. Then moving on through the Thunder. Call me crazy, but I still think this currently. I still think this is a playoff team. They got All Star caliber point guard in Chris Paul. They've got a a young rising guard in Shy Gilius Alexander, who's gonna take a, another step up from last season. 
They got a borderline 20 point score in Danilo Gallinari, who's 6'10, small forward. So he's going to be good. And they got Steven Adams, who's going to get like 15 rebounds a game this season, who uh, could make an R jump to an all star. We don't know. But other than that, that's about it. But I still think that that core is still good enough to make the playoffs. Maybe it's a 7 or 8 seed, but. Only time would tell. Chris Paul might get traded somewhere or bought out. We don't know yet. So, that I still think they're a, a playoff team. Moving on to the Celtics. Celtics picked up Kemba Walker to replace Kyrie Irving, which I believe cancels each other out. Kemba would probably work better with teammates and team chemistry. But I think Kyrie was the better player, so it kind of cancels each other out. But they lost Al Horford, big time center. They picked up Ennis Cantor, who isn't a terrible replacement. But he's no Al Horford. Uh, I think Al Horford is a bigger loss than they think he is. So, yeah. They also lost Marcus Morris. That just, people, that's a, people really don't see that as a big loss. But I, that's a big loss, man. Yeah, I think he was averaging 17 points at one point of the year. And he's not really a scorer either, so that's a big loss for them. Uh, moving on to Big Al, Big Al Horford, he joined Philly. Philly, eh, had an iffy free agency. They've lost Jimmy Butler and J.J. Redick. They pick up Al Horford, though. Tobias Harris stays. We got Josh Richardson. I don't know how I feel about this Sixers team right now. Are they a top two team in the East? Probably. But did they get better this season? I don't know. Uh, they lost the closer, Jimmy Butler. Uh, they don't really have a closer now. I guess Tobias Harris will have to step up. I don't see Joel Embiid hitting like big time threes in the stretch to win games. Maybe Josh Richardson is that guy, but it's Josh Richardson. Come on now. Uh, speaking of the Heat, uh, Jimmy Butler joins him. Jimmy Butler finally joins a team where he can be the, I guess, certified man on a team. So, I don't really see why the Heat did this, man. They should just rebuild. They, they're not going to contend for a championship with Jimmy Butler right now. They've got young pieces, so they might as well rebuild. Maybe tank. I don't know. But maybe they can make some, turn some heads. Jimmy Butler, I guess, meets the, uh, what's they called? The narrative of the Heat, hardworking, gritty, defensive guys. 110%. So, I don't know. Moving on to the Pelicans. Pelicans, uh... Even though they traded uh, Anthony Davis, they got some quality pieces back, a.k.a. Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram. Two bright stars. Hopefully a change of scenery can uh, do good for them. They also uh, got the best prospect in a long-ass time in uh, Zion Williamson. Uh, they also got Jackson Hayes. Jackson Hayes looks pretty damn good for uh, a rookie center. He's from Texas. Texas breeds centers. A.K. Jared Allen, Mo Bamba, and uh, Miles Turner in the last few years. So that's good. They picked up J.J. Redick, and J.J. Redick has never missed the playoffs in his career. Will that continue this season? Only time would tell. So the Pelicans, they're going to be a very fun team to watch with Lonzo and Zion. Ooh. Then the Wizards, I have the Wizards. But Corbin, what did the Wizards do this free agency? Well, they drafted probably my favorite player in the draft, Rui or Roy Hachimura, the Japanese sensation himself from Gonzaga. I really like Rui Hachimura. I don't really know why. He's a very good defender. He can score the ball. He has a great name. He's just he's NBA ready. I think he'll be pretty good. Hopefully, he doesn't turn out as a bust. Yeah, uh, I would love to see Rui Hachimura. I think he's, the, I guess, the perfect guy for their team currently. And what can an NBA pod, podcast be 
about talking about my favorite team, the Chicago Bulls. Chicago Bulls did some. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, but the Bucks is my favorite team. If uh, you didn't know that, uh, the Bucks they had an iffy free agency as well. They've re-signed Middleton into a big ass contract. They've re-signed Lopez into a decent sized contract. They've let Brogdon walk, which is eh, not a that's a bad move. But the money wouldn't have worked. But we picked up Wes Matthews to replace him. I think Wes Matthews is a an okay replacement. He will get the job done, but he's no Malcolm Brogdon. Uh, speaking of Brooke Lopez as well, we signed his brother, Robin Lopez. Uh, we got the Antetokounmpo's. Then we got the Robin, the low bros. Ha ha, winky face. Yeah. But the biggest uh, loss we've had this season is the loss of Tony Snell. I don't know why we did this move. Tony Snell is the best basketball player on the planet. Other than me, of course. But he is... Him and Thon are going to take over the league and the Pistons, man. That's going to be that's gonna be the best team in the league of the Pistons. They got Thon, Maker, Reggie Jackson, and Tony Snell. Man, watch out for the Pistons. That does about... Does it... That I, what did I just say? That... The, that... That does about... Does it... What? That's about... Does, what? That about does it? That about does it. Yeah, I got it correct. Sorry, guys. I have speech problems. Shout out Miss Monkey. But we're going to move on to the questions. First question is, comes from Aaron. He says, should the Bucks trade for Russ? Uh, I'm going to, gonna. he's already been traded, but I'm going to answer this as if he didn't get traded. Uh, I don't think the Bucks should trade for Russ unless it didn't involve, unless it kept out Giannis. Middleton and Brooke Lopez. If not, if they want something else other than those three, go ahead and trade for him. But if we get rid of one of those threes, I don't want to trade for him. So yeah, shout out Aaron for that great question. Uh, next question comes from Michael Pridgen. Shout out to him. He says, pie or cake? I'm going to go with cake. The only type of pie I like is pumpkin pie. And I like cake. I don't really like carrot cake or cheesecake. That shit is nasty. Cheesecake is nasty. Who the fuck came up with that idea of cheesecake? Like, seriously. Cheesecake. Go catch a hike. Whoever did that. But just normal cake, I, I like. I like chocolate or vanilla. Or is it, is it vanilla cake? I don't know. But you know what I mean. So... Yeah, cake over pie. Next question is, comes from Ryan. He says, why are you the goat? It's because I said I was. In the words of LeVar Ball, you speak it into existence. And I started speaking like I was the goat, and now look at me. People call me the goat. So speak it into existence is your answer. Final question is, comes from other Michael, Michael Cook. Yes, can I be a guest? I say, sure. Just message me whenever. And that goes on for everybody. If you want to listen, not listen, if you want to be on this podcast, all you have to do is just message me and we'll schedule a time or a date or whatever. We'll schedule it. But I'm not going to say yes to everyone who messages me. Because there's some people I just do not want to be talking or be on a podcast with so if i say no to you please don't get butt hurt that's life i'm sorry so yeah just message me whenever and we can do a podcast whenever and we're gonna talk about stranger things for a second stranger things season three just came out and i just made a connection to it stranger things is basically avatar but not as good. Shout out to people who saw and liked that tweet. I know who you are and you are great. But Stranger Things is basically Avatar. Look at this. A group of people find a godlike 
character out of the blue. Katara and uh, Sokka with Avatar Aang. The four boys with Al. The main character, the godlike character, must defeat a series of characters in order to save the world. Avatar Aim with the Fire Nation. And L with the Demigorgons and shit like that. Uh, then another uh, comparison is that they both found, found in love with the people who found them. Avatar Aim with Katara and L with Mike. So, uh, it kind of compares. But Avatar is way better. Stop sleeping. And last but not least, please share this, uh, share this podcast like you guys share the local rappers. Every time a local rapper, uh, drops a new song, I see like 10 people saying, take a, take a look, take a listen. Why can't you do that with my podcast? My podcast is good too. People want to listen to it. Please, share it. It would be, i very appreciate if you guys share it. Uh, yeah. Please share it. I don't care who you are. The more views it gets, the better it gets. Yeah. Uh, and once you do share it, and once I do blow up, I'm gonna act like I don't know nobody.